As you guys can see, we are playing Pokemon X on our Android device and we are getting more than 60 FPS. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the latest update of Citra MMJ Android and the king is finally back. One of the first 3 d simulators ever created, Citra MMJ for Android, received its latest update last week and just to compare, the previous update which we received was in 2023. So this is the brand new 2024 update of the Citra MMJ Android. Now in terms of changelog, there isn't anything new at least written on the official github page of citra mmj android you will be able to see that anti2 package name has been used uh, to trick os into thinking it's a benchmark app and it will boost performance on some devices so that's pretty cool nonetheless we'll be setting it up we'll be taking a look at its best settings gameplay and much more but before getting started hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel and i'll keep you guys up to date with the latest 3d simulation on android videos nonetheless right here i have the limited 3d simulator as as well as Citra MMG Android. Today we want to try out Citra MMG Android so the setup procedure is pretty simple. Once you open it just go ahead and tap on the allow button and it will automatically load all the games that are present inside your Android device. If it doesn't detect your games then you can just go ahead and tap on the plus button and select the folder where you have dumped your own copy of 3ds games. Once you choose that folder just go ahead and tap on the ok button and we should be all set to using this 3ds simulator and we should be all set to using this 3ds simulator on our Android devices. The next steps are the best settings that are present inside the simulator and Citra MMJ is only 3D simulator that has multiplayer support which is very unique compared to any other 3D simulators for Android. So let's just go ahead and tap on the CPU icon. Make sure that use dual core CPU has been enabled. Screen layout should be large screen internal resolution. I'll set it to 4x according to my device. Nonetheless, show FPS should be enabled. Hardware shader should be enabled to improve performance. Accurate multiplication should be turned off. Shader type should be normal shader. Once that has been done, you can enable CPU usage limit if you have an low end Android device so your device doesn't uh, thermal throttle or doesn't get too hot. Enable memory reuse option should be enabled. Speed percentage has been set to 99999. Now I am using an modified configuration for Citra MMJ that's why we are getting this speed limit. Uh, well I think the most speed limit that you can get in Citra MMJ Android should be around uh, 200 or 400 percent but that is pretty stable as well. You can also enable per game setting which I think was not present in the previous update of Citra MMJ Android. Nonetheless in per game settings it just means that you can set uh, each and every single game settings differently so I won't be doing that because we are using global best settings. New 3ds mode has been enabled, CPU JIT should be enabled, audio output you can turn it off if you have an learned android device but I'll be using the Cubeb audio output. Audio stretching should be turned off and yeah those are going to be the current best settings for Citra MMJ Android but as you know once you open the game you get further more settings uh, in Citra MMJ Android which we can customize. If you just go ahead and tap on these three dots, you will get a uh, CIA option, input control options, combo key, multiplayer, etc. But we won't be doing any of that. Let's just go ahead and read the about section. So you can see it is the May 20 build of Citra MMJ Android. The game that we'll be testing out in today's video is going to be Pokemon X. So once you have opened it on your Android device, you guys will be able to see the FPS that we are getting at the top left corner. But before doing that, let me just go ahead and swipe back. Let's go to settings. Let me enable uh, skip slow draw, skip CPU access. Make sure to disable shadow rendering if you have an low end Android device. Enable the last screen layout and yeah those are going to be the even more best settings for Citra MMG Android. And there we go Pokemon X is about to start. Now I have made a video recently comparing the Citra MMG Android with the Lemonade 3DS simulator for Android and I told you guys that Lemonade 3DS simulator performs really amazingly. Uh, but Citra MMJ is not that bad at all. It only had few graphical issues in its previous update. Hopefully it has been fixed now. I haven't tested it so can't tell you guys for sure. But you guys can do let me know in the comment section down below if you still face any graphical issue while emulating 3ds games on the Citra MMJ Android. Nonetheless I'll just go ahead and skip this cutscene and I'll be back. There we go guys our game is about to begin and at least inside house we are getting really amazing frame rate almost 70 to 100 FPS. So now the game should begin and we can now control our character 95 fps that's pretty cool let's just go ahead and scroll back and yeah the game is running at 4x internal resolution one thing which i can say for sure is the fact that graphics do look better in citra mmj compared to the lemonade 3d simulator all right once you exit the house in terms of outside world scenarios you'll be able to see the fps is pretty stable 60 fps 
but I think it is a bit less compared to other 3D simulators like Lemonade or Citra NS Edition. So that is unfortunate. Nonetheless, Citra MMG provides you with better Mali GPU support. So if you have an Mali GPU Android device, then you should definitely go with this emulator. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the comeback of Citra MMG Android. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. By the way, I bring similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and peace out.